everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you another review of another new foundation. I know, August was a little bit overwhelming. This one is new from Kat Von D. So this is called, I guess I should get the information up, right? That would probably be smart. This is called the True Portrait Foundation. It retails for $36 for one fluid ounce, 30 mils. The packaging is kind of cool. So it comes in this sleek white tube that's got a lot of artistry around it, you know, with the Kat Von D logo. It's a twist top and then right here you have this like part where you can actually touch the bottle and you can squeeze it out. Now this is a liquid to powder formula. You got the ball down in there to really shake up the formula so definitely give it a good shake. This formula actually comes in 40 different shades. I chose shade tan. 060 which is described as medium to tan golden with a neutral undertone and I will say it's a perfect match for me it has the right amount of golden but also a little bit of that neutral to kind of tone down some of the golden and those strong yellow tones so I actually think that the match was perfect now I don't particularly like liquid to powder formulas I've never had great luck with them so what I mean by that is that this is a liquid foundation but but when you blend it out it kind of has that dry oil type fill and you'll buy you guys probably know what I'm talking about so it's almost like you can't fill it on your finger it's not like a super wet creamy formula it's that dry oil type of formula but as it dries and sets down it kind of becomes like a powdery finish it has four out of five stars on the Sephora website 121 reviews I haven't seen a lot of positive reviews on this foundation. I had a great experience applying it today. This is actually the first day I've worn it, but I had a great experience applying it today and it went on really, really nice. I will be wearing this foundation for the next three days and I'm gonna give it a really good test. Uh, today I wore it with powders. Tomorrow I'm not gonna wear it with any powders. And when I say powders, I wear a light amount of powder. So today I took a little bit of the Hourglass Veil Powder and kind of dusted it over my face and then I used the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finishing Powder just right here in my T-zone just to kind of calm down the pores a little bit and kind of smooth everything out. But I don't go in heavy with powders and so when I say powders, it's just kind of a light dust. But tomorrow I won't apply any powders and just see how it is. Now I'm a little bit shiny so this formula says that it is a lightweight medium coverage liquid to powder vegan formulation formulation a lightweight medium coverage liquid to powder vegan foundation that sets to a long wear airy matte finish that won't clog your pores so again this is a medium coverage with a matte finish now I wouldn't call it a full matte so if you're an oily or combo I don't know how this is gonna work for you I will definitely let you guys know in my final thoughts after wearing it for the next couple of days do look a little bit shiny even after wearing some powder so I it does set down so it doesn't stay tacky this innovative formula features exclusive elastic essence which affects to flex with all of your expressions for a perfect skin look that moves with you. Ideal for normal to oily skin, it helps control shine so you can create the ideal canvas for any look every day, remembering to shake well before applying. So that's all the information about it. For those of you who are new to my channel, I am 40 years old. I am a medium with like a golden undertone. I have dry normal skin. Right now I'm a little bit more on the normal side during the winter is when I get kind of dry. I like a more natural finish. I like my foundation to look very real and very natural. I don't like it to look cakey and thick and heavy. I like it to be as skin-like as possible. I don't apply a lot of foundation. You know, I like a little bit. I used to apply too much, but I've gotten better with that. I'm 40, so I have to be more careful, especially applying in my wrinkles. If you put too much in your wrinkles, you are toast. So that's my skin information. I will leave that in the description box down below, along with some of the other foundations that I wear and what shade I wear in those foundations. So you can use that as a reference for your shade match. So without further ado, let's jump right into the application portion of the video. I will come back and do a midday check-in, letting you guys know how this wears about six hours in. All three of the days, I will be wearing this for 12 hours or longer. I do like to give my foundation reviews a long wear time, and I like to wear them for a couple of days to really get a good feel for the foundation. So that's what we're doing today. I hope you guys are excited about it. And without further ado, let's jump right into the application. Okay. 
Okay, so let's get playing with this new foundation from Kat Von D. It's kind of liquidy, so I'm just gonna put about that much on the back of my hand. And as you guys know, on one side of the face, I like to use a brush. On the other, I will use a sponge just so that we can kind of see the difference between them. Let's start applying it. Now it kind of feels like a dry oil going on, like you can't really feel it going on the skin. It it has like that um, kind of dry oil filling. I don't know if you can, I don't know if that's the right term to describe it, but the shade looks good. Because of the oil texture to this foundation, it does show brush marks. So this is definitely one that you really couldn't apply with just a brush. Like you're gonna have to use a sponge over top of it to kind of smooth out the brush marks. Okay, so I'm gonna go over it with a sponge. Kind of make sure that it's pressed into the skin. Right now it looks pretty good. I'm kind of surprised by that. So this is how much I have left. So I'm gonna probably have to put a tiny bit more, which I don't really like to use a lot of foundation, but that's okay. Um, it's hard to know how much I'm using because it doesn't have a pump on it, but you know, sometimes it's better with foundation to do less in the beginning and then build up where you need it. Um, but I do feel like I probably get better coverage with a, with a brush and then going over it with a sponge. Okay, so this is the sponge side and this is the brush side. Definitely better coverage on the brush side than the sponge. So I am gonna go in just a little bit more. I'm gonna go in with like this much, just a dot. And kind of build up coverage where I need it. I do like the texture of this one. It's It does have that dry oil kind of texture where it kind of melts into the skin, but the only thing that worries me about this type of a texture is it's my experience with foundations like this is they kind of slip and slide and they can get a little bit oily throughout the day, which I'm not, I don't have oily skin. I'm more normal right now, but it's just my experience with foundations like this. And I think this looks really pretty right now. Like I'm kind of impressed with it. I like how I can build up the coverage where I need it, and it does look really smooth and very healthy on the skin right now. It's not dramatizing my wrinkles, it's laying beautifully over the pores. I kinda like this, but I mean, this is first impression, you know, so I will definitely be wearing it for the next couple of days. But I think I prefer applying it with a brush and then going over it with a sponge more than I do the sponge side, but that's good because if you're somebody that just likes a light to medium coverage, the sponge is really gonna give you that. If you need like more of a good, medium, almost full coverage, I would use the brush. So I like that the foundation kind of gives you that option where if you need a little bit more coverage, it'll give it to you. If you don't, you can go in with a sponge, but actually, Actually, I like the way this looks right now. I mean, it's looking pretty good on my skin right now. I don't really see anything bad about it. Like I'm trying to kind of like look for something that I don't like. I love the way that it blended into my hairline. And a lot of the times too with a foundation that has this type of texture where it's that dry oil type texture, it will cling to like my peach fuzz. Now you guys know I shave my face, but sometimes when I use a foundation like this, it will like cling to the stubble, if you will. And this one isn't. Like it blended over my skin so beautifully and it looks really pretty. This is the first complexion product that I've ever tried from Kat Von D. Uh, I don't think I've even, I didn't try her, any of her foundations. I've, I've never tried her concealer, foundations, anything like that. I do think that this is a foundation that you don't wanna apply a ton of. So if you go in kind of thick and start really trying to pack this on, 
I think you're going to have a problem with it. I think it'll get kind of cakey and kind of gross. It has set down, so it's not slipping and sliding anywhere. It doesn't feel tacky. It just has set down. It's gave my skin a nice luminous type of finish. I like this so far. So right okay. now it is 9.45 in the morning. So I'm going to go ahead and go off camera, finish the rest of my makeup. I will probably come back and do a midday check-in today. That's it for the application. I will see you guys in my first check-in. Okay, everyone, it is almost 3.15 and I'm doing this midday check-in a little bit early because I do need to head out of the, I gotta go run some errands with my hubby. So I wanted to pop on here and show you guys how this is looking, but I like this so far. I'm very surprised by it. I love the way it looks through the camera. I think it makes my skin look very uh, refreshed and kind of young looking. Um, I wouldn't say it's dewy at all, but it kind of gives my skin a nice shine. Um, it's not settling into my wrinkles. I think this looks really good. So far, I'm really impressed. I think, I think the only thing that worries me about this foundation is I don't know how long it's gonna last because I kind of feel like it's gonna get a little bit oily, even though it says that it claims to kind of lock down the oils. I'm not feeling that way just yet, but I like it. Like, I really like it. Now, I don't care about my natural oils coming in, but for those of you who are combo and oily, that's gonna be something that you need. So because it's claiming to be matte, that's my concern. I wouldn't say this is a matte foundation. I would say this is a natural finish. Definitely not a matte, on my skin personally. So this is what we're looking like. I really love the shade. The shade is a really, really good match. And I love the undertones of this as well. I think it just looks really pretty. I think this looks so beautiful. I, I just, it looks really good in my wrinkles. What was that, Tara? <sighs> It just looks really good and I didn't have any problems going over top of this with my Tarte Creaseless Concealer. I was a little bit worried about it because this is such an, like, an emollient based concealer. So I was kind of concerned going over top of this foundation with something like that because it is a you know, liquid to powder formula, but I didn't have any problems blending it into it. It blended in really good. Of course, I did use my finger and maybe the warmth of my finger kind of helped to melt that into the foundation, but I think this looks gorgeous. Like, I like this so far. I was able to blend my, con my cream contour directly over top of it without any issues. It's just a really pretty natural foundation, but I wouldn't call it a matte. I think that might be maybe what people are having issues with this because they were expecting it to be matte and it's not matte. Okay, so that's it for my midday check-in. I'm gonna go ahead and get off of here and I will see you guys in the next couple of days after wearing it for 12 hours and I will give you guys a 12 hour check-in and my final thoughts, so I will see you guys then. Okay, everyone, I'm back for my final thoughts on this foundation. Now, I had to wait until midnight because I had a late start this morning. Normally, I apply my foundation between 9.30 and 10, and today I didn't get it applied until right around 11.30 to noontime. So I wanted to definitely make sure I come on here 12 hours later. So it's been a couple of days since I filmed my intro, my first application, and the six-hour check-in. I've actually been wearing this since Tuesday. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So I've had it on for four days. And let me get into and break it all down for you. I really like this foundation. I did not really think I was gonna like it. I will leave some reviews in the description box down below because I do want you guys to hear other perspectives. A friend of mine, her name is Paige. Her channel is Seeking Alexandria. She reviewed this and instantly her skin started burning and it looked awful on her skin and she really actually couldn't complete the review of it because it just did not work for her. So I will leave that link in the description box down below so you guys can check that out. But also my friend Jennifer, her channel is Jennifer Joyce Beauty. She has oily skin and she's over 45 and she has oily skin and she reviewed this over a course of a couple of days. She actually really enjoyed it. She has really oily skin and really enjoyed this foundation. So I was kind of surprised by that because I will be honest with you, this does not feel like a matte foundation to me. So 
I'm glad that it locks down her oils. I do think she had the best application and the best experience with the foundation when she wore her really good powders. But for me, I need to wear powders with this. This is one that can get a little bit, you know, like you can put your finger on it and you can kind of lift up a little bit of your oils. But let me just say this, I love the way that this naturally wears off. It wears off in such a natural way that it doesn't make me feel like I am missing foundation. Like it doesn't like get gross and kind of clumpy and kind of pull away from the skin. Now I know that Kat Von D is extremely controversial and if this is a brand that you are just not even interested in, I completely get it and I totally respect your opinion on that. I'm not here for any of that. I'm just here to review. I'm not gonna get into like the controversy just because we all kind of have our own personal reasons for why we why we support a brand and why we don't. So if this is not a brand that you're wanting to support, I 100% get that. For those of you that are just interested in the makeup and you wanted to know about this, that's why I'm here. But I actually really like this. Like on a scale from one to five, I would probably give this like a four. It's pretty good. I'm so surprised by it. I love the way it looks over my wrinkles. I love the way that it wears off very naturally. I like how it doesn't make me feel dry throughout the day. I also love applying it with my hands. So. The way that I've been applying it yesterday and today was just taking a little bit of it and kind of going here on the back of my hand and kind of blending it in with my hand, then kind of smoothing over it with a sponge. Oh, gives the best finish. And I feel like I get kind of that more natural look with it, but I do prefer this with powder. The day that I wore it without powder, it didn't wear as well and it didn't wear as long. So I would say I probably got like eight to 10. When I wear powders, I can get a pretty decent 10. I think this looks pretty dang good for being on for 12 hours later, but this is a nice foundation. I really enjoy it. I'm really kind of surprised by it. I like the texture of it. I do like how it is that dry oil type of powder formula. I think this is one that you're gonna wanna make sure you have the right shade. So they do carry this in stock at the local Sephora's. So before you buy this online, definitely go down, get shade matched and get a sample of it and just try it. I feel like this is definitely a foundation that I don't feel like is gonna work for everybody. For dry skin, I think this might cling to your dry patches because for the first few hours, it's not matte, but it's kind of matte. So I don't know how this is gonna work for really dry skin, so just be mindful of that. If you're somebody that is just not interested in the whole Kat Von D brand, 100% get it. It reminds me of this new one from Beauty Bakery. This is the Insta Bake. I've been using the crap out of this. I really like this one. This one kind of has the same texture. I would say the difference between this one from Beauty Bakery and the one from Kat Von D, this one is a little bit more of a dry oil. This one has the dry oil from Beauty Bakery, but it's it's kind of a dry oil slash creamy mixture, but on the fingers, you can't really feel it. On the hand, the hand feels a little bit wet, but you still can't feel it. This is a really good foundation too. I recently reviewed it. I will link it up here in the iCards. Similar finish, similar way that it applies onto the skin, the way that it blends and kind of melts into the skin, which is what I really, really love about this. I feel like this is almost undetectable on my skin. Yesterday I was getting my hair done and you know she, I had color right here around you know my forehead and she took a towel and like you know wiped the color off and all I did was kind of went like this and it blended right back into my hairline and she was like wait didn't I just wipe your foundation off? I'm like yeah but I was able to kind of blend it right back into it. So this one is very skin like. I, the thing I will say on a negative note, if you have enlarged pores, this might not be the one for you because I have noticed that this one, even though enlarged pores is not like my uh, problematic area, I've got a big breakout right here. I went off of my spirolactolone. Um, long story short, I don't know that it's the foundation just because I did go off of my spirolactolone and I'm trying to 
trying to see how my skin will do without it because I just don't want to be on medication forever. So I have went off of it and I've, you know, had a few little issues. But anyway, so I can't blame it on the foundation. This foundation, I feel like might be one that will dramatize your pores. If you have a really good pore filling primer and you wear a really good powder to kind of smooth out your pores, I think you'll be fine with this one. It's not like it completely over dramatizes them, but I did notice my pores more so with this foundation than I do with others. So I definitely wanted to point that out. That's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend filled with love and joy, and I will see you guys in my next video, and I love you all so much. Bye.